Hi, brothers and sisters. It's Pastor Tim. First, a shout out. I'm not going to give the name, but our sister, this channel family member from Medford Lakes, New Jersey. And I know where that is, by the way, um, having grown up in New Jersey. Sister, I got the box today with those items for the babies in need. Thank you so much. And even for my little grands, that was so precious. You bless my heart. So I will be actually, um, this week, there are a few deliveries to crisis pregnancy and to those in need. So to anybody, um, you can give or, or whatever, but I just wanted to give a shout out to that sister. Got that. That was just, you really blessed me with, with that. And oh, praise God that we get to make a difference in the lives of babies. Well, anyway, I want to get to topic. We've all known for some time that there are FEMA camps. If you don't, you can Google it. You can look it up. I've known from Intel sources. And, you know, it's kind of been quiet. Remember back, oh, man, last year when we had those Blackhawks that were all over the place. Listen, nothing has slowed down in regard to the system of the Antichrist that is being established. That being said, we know that we occupy and redeem the time. This is what's interesting, and this is coming out. Even some alternative news sources are talking about now with the coronavirus, um, I know, right, the base in California even, where they brought in those folks from Wuhan, there are, they're, they're even acknowledging, uh, they're coming out now, it, it, it's becoming more and more um open the, the the beast system the globalists they, they're coming out and they're saying oh yeah we have a camp ready we we have a female location ready if needed for this it's fully supplied and they're trying to spin it as a good thing brothers and sisters i firmly believe that this is setting up for where they will round up and house the believers post the rapture of the church. And if you don't know this already, um, I may, there, there's a couple things I want to get on later tonight and do a, a mini Bible study on a question that several have asked. I don't want to do that rabbit trail now. If you don't know what's going to happen post the rapture, well, you don't want to be here for it. But to bottom line it, those who are left behind are going to have a choice. Believe on the Lord Jesus and they will most likely lose their life because if anyone takes the mark of the beast that's in their right hand or on their forehead, they will lose their heads. They will lose their life. This is what the Bible clearly states. And I know some people get crazy when I share that kind of information, but it's biblical truth. That's what the Bible says. And that day will come. And I believe in our lifetime, I believe that the rapture is in fact imminent. Everything that needed to happen according to biblical prophecy for the rapture of the church has already occurred. And there is coming that day and it's coming very soon. And those who are left behind. How can you not be left behind? Admit you're a sinner in need of a Savior and believe on the Son of God, God the Son, having always existed. Left glory, laid down his glory, wrapped in flesh, was born of a virgin, lived a perfect life, never sinned, and shed his precious blood on the cross of Calvary to pay the debt for our sin once and for all, past, present, and future. He died, was buried, and on the third day rose from the dead. The ABCs of salvation is in the description box. So there are things happening, but I wanted to share with you. Several sources have told me that this is, this is truth. And now I, I'm seeing people are telling me that it's coming out on other alternative news sites that in fact in California, <laughs> authorities are acknowledging they have a FEMA camp prepared and ready. And again, they're tying it to 
the coronavirus or an epidemic like that, a pandemic, but brothers and sisters, you know, for a quarantine. There's also news coming out. Now, I, I have shared with you guys that I had received intel from Israel early on when, when this first broke that the coronavirus was actually from a secret, they were doing secret bioweapons in a laboratory in Wuhan. And then the Lord gave me a vision confirming that it in fact was bioengineering and that kind of weapon. And also it's tied to 5G. And I, so I firmly believe it. And so, wow. Things are moving so quickly. And now we're here. I mean, they're not even hiding it. When you look on the global scene, these globalists are not even hiding. They're coming out with it. I, I saw um, our dear brother, street preacher, God's messenger. Hey, bro, I love you. I saw your video as I was um, driving. I, I had it playing. I, well, I didn't see it, actually. I was listening. And so I listened to your video on the Babylon health system. I know even the names, it's, it's something They're Wow. They're coming out with things, brothers and sisters. We are so close for the believer. We don't lose. Hallelujah. We don't lose. So to be rapture ready, to be heaven bound, you know, often we talk about the rapture and we're excited about that. And we should be that the, the Bible tells us to encourage one another. That's our blessed hope. But we also know this, in the next 60 seconds, approximately 105 people will breathe their last breath. They will die. Where will they spend the rest of eternity? Once you die, muerte, dead, done, it's over. I, I shared maybe yesterday during my sermon, um, might've been last night at our believers meeting, what a meeting that I had been talking to a Catholic who told me, well, you know, when, when your loved ones die, you can, basically I call it paying for indulgences. You can give money and the priest will pray them out of, they believe in purgatory, there is no purgatory. Or, <coughs> excuse me, you can pray, people can pray them out of purgatory. Um, eh, wrong. Once you're dead, it's over. You're... It's determined. There is no second chance once you breathe your last breath. But God is so merciful that right now, while we still have breath, admit you're a sinner in need of a Savior and believe on the Son of God and His finished work with the shedding of His precious blood, His redemptive work, all sufficient on the cross. He died for our sins, was buried, and on the third day rose from the dead. Well, I want to let you guys know, intel sources are coming in. Alternative news media saying the same thing. <laughs> this is, can you believe it? We are seeing this. It's like prophecy is jumping off the pages of the Bible. Oh, I just saw, saw I don't know who said it, but that the FEMA camps, California, is setting them up for the people, I think you said, uh, who have lost homes in fires. Right, whatever, whatever the reason is, that they're using, the fact is they're set up. And I, it's not just California, brothers and sisters. They're located throughout the nation. And wow. But again, prophecy is jumping off the pages of the Bible. And so as believers, we have nothing to fear. We, we live by faith and God is good. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Well, I just wanted to bring you that information. God bless you guys. Have an awesome rest of your day.